Hey guys, I'm wrapping up the very end of the uh, trip to Grand Junction. The pool is awesome. I'm going to bring that, guy, that to you guys in a video that you've probably already seen when you're seeing this. But I wanted to make my announcement for training in August. Um, the dates for training are going to be August 10th through the 13th. That's the Thursday through Sunday like we always do. It's going to be the same coverage. We're going to hit monopore, eco-finish pools on the very, very high end, vinyl liners, auto covers, the works. Basically, you're going to see everything from, you know, you know beginner in-grounds to elite level. You know, the, the pool we won pool of the year. We're going to go over there and do a site visit. But it's four days of just all ICF and pools. We do a little bit of structural ICF too. And that's really part of the mission, guys. That's why I'm starting to go out on these uh, on-site consults. I love ICF. I think it's the greatest product ever. But there's still, it's grown so fast, there's a skill gap. There's so many guys trying to get into it. It's not hard. But there are tricks to the trade and everything else. I believe the guy that started this got a little bit in over his head because he lost some workers. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he did a good job. But he got behind. And then he was... Playing and they had to fur out some walls and do some stuff and it turns into a horror story even though everyone had good intentions. I want to make that go away for everybody. I want you guys to have perfect experiences with ICF um, and uh, that's really the mission guys. I want to close that skill gap, bring as many of you guys into the you know ICF world as I can. So like I said, August 10th through the 13th, I will uh, probably talk a little more about it in the office but uh, that's what, that's the dates. So typically on day one, we meet at roast in the morning. Everyone gets to know each other. And then a guy from Pinter does a couple hours on all the amazing automation equipment that is available. Just gives you a brief overview. Um, you're not going to get you know, detailed enough that you can do all the programming on your own. You're going to understand what it's capable of. Then Daryl kind of gives you his pitch on a roast, you know, helping you guys out in the future with supplies. And then typically we start training about noon. We'll go to lunch and then we will get together. And the, one of the things we're going to touch on, even though this is a monopore training is vinyl liners. <clears throat> this is uh, important in my mind because if you've got monopore down structurally, vinyl liners are a cakewalk, but understanding how to install a vinyl liner, if your market, if you're going into the business, they are the quickest and easiest way to find success in the pool game because you can build them in just over a week. Generally, um, the profit margins are very, very good. So I want everyone to have that experience, even though um, a lot of you guys are going to do a lot of monopores and that's, that's why you're here. We do touch on it. We install a vinyl liner together at training. Um, it's a small liner, but you can, you can touch it. You can feel it, which is everything that this training is about is, being able to touch the ICF, feel the ICF, actually pour the concrete, see the mixed designs and what they do. Because trying to learn that on your job, it's scary, it's risky, and that's why we do it. So um, the, we, we, did, we just touch on vinyl. Another somewhat specialized part of training uh, we will get into, we may not have an auto cover going in at that moment, but we will get into the uh, hydromatic auto covers by Aquamatic the benefits, um, the basics. I'm gonna have an awesome video coming out pretty quick on detailed installation, but you'll probably get to see one in operation at one of our site visits. Um, we'll get into site visits in a minute, but uh, so many of you guys are interested in auto covers that it's an important part of training. The meat and potatoes is obviously the structural monopores, which we'll get into in a second, but this is one of the other things that we touch on because it's very important. So everything else we cover in training is really just to get your eyes on it, to know what's possible, to know that things exist, like the automation and the auto covers. But the real meat and potatoes, the real valuable thing that we do that I don't think anybody else does in the, in the, in the training is that we bring in a real pump, we bring in real concrete, real ICF, and we do it for real. We let you get your hands on touching, you know, these products, you can work with them yourself, you can be part of the action. And that's the best way to learn, guys. I mean, you can learn a lot from Fox Blocks or Nudura on their website doing their little internet training, but you still have a lot of fear or trepidation when you come away from that because you're still going to be going on your first job and pouring very expensive concrete with a very expensive pump into very expensive forms. And the uh, consequence of failure is a big bill, if you will. 
and this is um, this training is insurance. It's um, there's just tons of little nuances. I feel like this process is incredibly easy to master. It's very simple, and it is the way to construct structures and pools in the future. But I get that it is scary when you've never seen it or touched it or felt it. So that's why we do it. Um, first day, we build a small monopore pool, which is right behind me here. We build it together, and then the second day, we pour it. Um, we also pour a small wall where I try to simulate a blowout because that's the big scary. And uh, on this training, if you saw my video from a couple weeks ago, you know that I struggled to make it blow out. Um, had to hit it with a hammer, had to cheat. Next time, we're going to do better and make sure it blows out easy so you guys can see the, uh, you know, oh, the surprise and then how to fix it. Because um, that is really the, about the worst thing that can happen, and it's ultimately not a big deal if you don't panic. But we get into just a high degree of detail. I'm standing back answering questions while everybody's watching. Um, and this part of the day takes up most of a day. We get into details on plumbing. What I'm talking about here is like return fittings and water stops that you put on the pipes. We get into main drains and skimmers and how they go in the wall to make them waterproof. You know, a lot of guys miss that step um, when they try to get out there and build their first pool. And, you know, they're, they're working from behind to try to waterproof cold joints and waterproof around fittings and little details like that that we cover in this training in detail and it comes in really handy obviously our kits come with uh, qr codes that show you a lot of similar stuff but being able to touch it and see it ahead of time is really really nice um, beyond this what we do um, that is really handy a lot of people really enjoy it as we go out on site visits um, after this pour usually the next day these we meet back here we strip all of these forms. We kind of do a post-mortem, but while they're stripping, we spend about a half of a day going to uh, previous built job sites that are up and running, pools that are operational, and those pools have different plumbing, different covers, different things, and um, you know, we all kind of go out on all these different sites. We usually, this is my personal pool. We usually go to this as a site visit kind of in the evening, order pizza and just kind of chill and discuss and hang out. Um, but we go to commercial pools. We go to um, the pool of the year that I built last year um, and where you can see a ton of different equipment. But the big thing is we build a, we build a community, guys, um, that really ends up being an awesome resource. We have, an IC, uh, we have a Facebook group that we all stay in touch, and it works out great. On the last day, we also usually hit up uh, the two non-liner finishes that I promote, which is EcoFinish. Um, and skin microplaster. We get into a pretty good degree of detail. We actually demo the eco finish, touch on the uh, t touch on the skin. And real quick, I'm going to take you at the end of this video to a liner I dropped yesterday in an old style pool that's just going to describe a little bit of why we want to do it this way as opposed to the old. Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video here. We're getting ready to redo a liner on this freeform pool. Uh, pretty old pool. It's, seen, it's got one main drain. I mean, this pool is probably 30 years old. Um, one thing about the, the vermiculite, which is not that old, this, this liner was redone, I think 10 years ago. You got roots coming out of here that we're going to have to address because, because it never gets hard, it's susceptible to groundwater coming in. This bottom is, I can't explain to you, it's, it's lumpier than a golf ball. You can kind of see these little puddles, but this point right here that's splashing is two inches lower than this main drain. Everything is settling and wonky and we have to address all that before we put a liner in. That's why we promote concrete bottoms. Um, with, with liner foam over them, because if we were redoing that liner, we would have come in here and pulled the liner, pressure washed it, as soon as it's dry, we're ready to put the liner in. Instead, we have several hours of vermiculite work and pulling weeds, basically, out of the side of this pool before we can fix it the correct way. So you can see the results turned out fantastic, but it was a lot more work than the way we do it today. I'll see you guys next week.